weekend. It is Friday at 7.30. Um, so my plan was to get up at 6. And uh, Sam has actually been here since yesterday. Sam got here yesterday around lunchtime. But I still had my beautiful little nuggets with me. And so we spent the day with them. And we went out to eat. And we did all this fun stuff. Um, and then we had Panera. And we did some girl chat. It was really fun. So yeah, Sam's been here since yesterday, and I decided to just start vlogging today. Um, today, we're gonna go I have a friend that was like, please, do not, for the love of God, when you get to the range, do not do your air guns. I was like, why? It's part of my cheesy charm. Anyway, so today we're gonna go to the gun range, and then in the nighttime, we're gonna go to Sambuca 360. One of my good friends just had a baby a few months ago, and uh, I promised to take her out just to, you know, remember that she's awesome. Ooh. So, look at this instigator. She's an instigator? I would show you, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> I will not confirm or deny that she just laughed at me and flipped me off. She flipped me the bird. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for today. That's it. Gun range, Sambuca at night. Um, I don't know about the rest of the days. I just hear that. I'm just happy that Sam's here. You guys like my nail polish? Sam and I had to change our nail polish yesterday. Um, <laughs> see? See those digits? <laughs> Um, I'm wearing, I have to stop wearing this color. It's starting to get thick. You guys know when you have a really favorite polish and it starts to get thick and gross because you use it so much. It's called Let's Chalk About It by China Glaze. Sorry, right, Danny, get out with the name. Anyway, so, um, I don't want to be late. I always do this. Like, I do really long intros and then I run late and then it sucks. 7.30. Um, I'll check in with you guys later. Maybe when we're doing our makeup or something. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Hey, come here. Man. Say good morning. Who's coming first? Who's gonna win? Good luck, please. You guys are the worst. Come on, Duffle. Duffle wins. Duffle, Duffle wins the love in. Bubble wins. And then his twin. His giant twin. Bubble wins. Leslie, come. Hi, Bunker LaRue. Who's so fatty boy? Who's the most fatty boy in my whole universe? Hey, Marin, you're not extra friendly today. Why? What's up with that? Are you PMSing? It's impossible. <laughs> the Bobo is Bobo super friendly today. Yeah, yeah. You lost when you're here. All right. For the record, that's friendly. My my Chihuahua only has different levels of like anger and irritation okay. he's never just happy he's either like mildly irritated or extremely angry so mildly irritated for him is like i love you <laughs> oh no hey hey guys it's 10 o'clock we are getting ready to go to the range i uh, just wanted to do a little makeup of the day this was one of those things where i couldn't put my makeup down it was supposed to be a one eyeshadow look and then it turned into full-on highlighter and foundation and just I don't know you guys I guess I'm happy that Sam's here that I'm just making so many mistakes <laughs> and then outfit of the day um, I'm wearing my little tank top from um, Everfit that says drink well with others because I figure you know ha, 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 alcohol joke while I'm handling a weapon and then that little bralette that I wear in a lot of my videos <laughs> some bootcut jeans and my cowboy boots you guys want to see my cowboy boots look at this and I've actually had these since before I moved to Texas. So I've always had a thing for cowboy boots. I used to love going dancing, like banda. Um, if you guys are from SoCal, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, these are my little boots. Anyway, so we're gonna head out to, um, holy extreme close up, look at that face. You can see my freckles from up close. Yeah, so we're heading out. We're probably just gonna go through a drive through Starbucks, get a little croissant or something, a croissant, and uh, then go to the range. I don't know if we can bring you guys along, but I'm willing to take that risk for you guys. I keep checking my lipstick on my teeth. I'm like. <laughs> In case you were wondering what this is, guys. Oh, man. This is a screen on Danny's car, so I get cut off. We're going to do like me. <sighs> anyway. It's true. 
What are you doing? <laughs> You're hanging on. <laughs> Fuck, now I'm gonna put it on you and then I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Why do you get to the cute stuff? That's fun. <laughs> it hides my chinage. It does. It hides my chinage and then I'm like this. You know what? When you get your croissant and you go bonkers bananas on it, yeah. you're going to thank me yeah. for the positioning of this camera. I'm just hanging out on top of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not doing this? We don't have to. I mean, it's a line. It's, it's crazy. I'm biting into it. Uh, I can still pull some of it off. No, no. I'm good. Okay. It's just trying to like jam a banana in me. <laughs> That was so bad yeah. <laughs> and a little gross. of my, uh, this is my murder gun. Okay, you guys, it's an inside joke. Please don't judge me. I live in Texas, for the record. Did you have fun? Yes, fun. So much fun or like a little fun? So much fun. Our instructor was like total bae. Like, I just said bae, like that's how cute he was. I don't say stupid vernacular like that, you guys. Um, so, and then I just said vernacular. Yeah, you did. <laughs> totally. Anyway. Um, do you guys remember another vlog that I did with Sam and we went to the spa and then after we left the spa We did the same walk of shame. Do you guys remember where we're going? We're doing the walk of shame towards Matitos. Yes. Matitos is this Mexican, well Tex-Mex That Sam likes so we're gonna go eat there oh, um, Did you just put this on me? I totally put it on you. Oh, totally. Shameful. So we're eating bad Tex-Mex food for Sam because she's my guest um, but it is 11.30, but that means it's happy hour somewhere, right? Yeah. You can always do best time. That's actually pretty good, but it's really expensive. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, Frisco Square. So this is like downtown Frisco, and it's just a little cute little cutesy homely, right? No? <laughs> Inappropriate again? Yeah. Inappropriately used? So around Christmas time, they do like a light show, and you tune into the radio station. There's that soccer. Um, a soccer field where like famous soccer players that I don't know any other names play at. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a cool little place. So we're gonna go to Matitos. We're gonna eat some Mexican food, and I think I might need a drink. But we're gonna go out dancing tonight, so I don't know. That might make me sleepy. My room, my day. Maybe not too much sugar. A beer would be fine. Thanks, lady. Thanks, ladybird. It smells like Pinot. Hi! Good, thanks. Let's see please. Look at how pretty it is. A book, please? Okay, you guys. We need to confer for a second. It's confer a word, because I've been saying it a lot. It is, right? Like, come together and discuss. We need to, um talk about what a puffy taco is. So let me just, uh, just show you here for a sec. So if you're gonna get the Maria, you're gonna get Maria's puffy taco. I don't know if I'm about that life, but I'm definitely curious to try it and I'll try anything like seven times. So what do we think, puffy taco? How's that looking? Looks delicious. What is it, enchiladas? What yes. kind of enchiladas, chicken? Chicken. And the sauce? It's a sour cream sauce. So. Oh, oh, sour cream anything. Sour cream delicious. That used to be guac. That was guac. And then I got a fajita salad. Yeah, delicious. Look at this. It looks big, but it's not. Oh, look, they use refried beans as glue. I know, I saw that. That's so cute. Love that. All right, confession time. Shut up, Blake Shelton. Um, We were literally just lounging. It's two o'clock. We were just lounging. Oh, a lot of you guys asked me about these sunglasses. They're linked in all of my vlogs where I'm wearing them. Like I link every, like I literally link my underwear, you guys. Do you see what she's doing? It's just, I'm sorry. They're just, you know what? Fine. 
<laughs> there you go. You want it on you? There you go. Is that doing it for you? Is it working? Yeah. It's, do it's totally doing it, isn't it? Go China. Anyway, so what I was saying is, she's <laughs> proud. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> no, the worst. it's more fun that way. Oh. <laughs> um, so we were just laying, lounging. We got back from eating at Matito's, whatever. And then uh, Sam was like, oh, yeah, you know, Tory Burch minis, whatever. And then it just turned into a, like, boom, spring out of bed and let's go buy some. Yeah. Because what else would you do? Yeah. So that's what we're doing. That's we're going to go really far to a Tory Burch store. And uh, they're having a uh, seasonal sale right now so the stuff that's on sale is an additional 30% off yeah um but before that we got to get some refreshments and I don't mean these kinds I mean like coffee mm. but this it's still very good yeah anyway bye guys <laughs> <laughs> we really need to like we just need to video anytime we're driving because it's when we come up with like, the best material it's very true I like how you straightened up too. Well, yeah, like, see me a little bit. <laughs> this is all my idea, by the way. <laughs> get, and you can't even get a hanging one because this will like it'll get in the way. It'll be right in your like vision. Yeah, I wish this folded down. Actually, I don't even know if it does. It might. I just want to break it off. Yeah. I don't know. It feels pretty attached. <laughs> it feels pretty permanent. But you know what? It should be able to come off if you're like storing the car, you know, like parking it somewhere, you should be able to take it off and put it somewhere, you know? But it's not the 90s. You don't remove your CD player. Do you remember when you take the cover off? Yes, that's what I was referencing. <laughs> and it came with a little case. Yes, and you put it in your glove <laughs> Or you took it with you if you were really fancy. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, man. My stomach hurts. I'm going to have abs by tonight, dude. Sweet. <laughs> It'll get rid of that guacamole pooch, right? <laughs> All those tortilla pooch. chips. Torts. All those gluten-free corn chips. <laughs> I like when people say gluten-free corn chips. I'm like, really? Because it's corn. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's the catchphrase now. Gluten-free. You know, just like low-carb was before. Or low-sugar was before that. Uh-huh. Remember when it was easy and it was just sugar-free or low-fat? Now it's like non-GMO, free range, wild, organic, on the range, yeah. grass-fed, no yeah, hormones, right. no STDs or nitrites. All right, guys. So we just got to uh, Samantha's new motherland. You guys, you guys want to know where it is? I feel like she's in heaven. She's actually melting because it's hundred degrees. You see that? See what's happening over there? That's where we're taking the Samantha Riley. You ready for this? Do you hear this one? Do you hear her? So we just walked down to the Tory Burch store. They're having their summer sale. So anything that's on sale is an additional 30% off. Um, what's happening? Um, it's an additional 30% off. So when I bought my mules, you guys, I have to show you these shoes when we get home. They are so cute. They're statement shoes, kind of like the Dick Tracy situation. So I'm not going to be able to wear them like, you know, every day. Actually, I can and I could give two. You know about it anyway they didn't have sam's the ones that sam wanted these like really cute polka dot ones but ebates tory birch three percent cash back they're 120 minus, yeah 120 bucks for minis what do you think she's doing right now she's on her ebates app ordering the mini flats with the 30 percent off you and, smiling, uh, not hers. Yeah, 30% off and the additional 3% cash back. So I just did that with these. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, let me show you. Can you see that? They're like these really cute white um, loafers for summer. Um, yes. Okay, you guys. So my best friend comes to town to visit me maybe three, four times a year. And uh, being a classically trained chef, I decided that I would uh, make her a proper meal fit for a best friend that is this important to me. So, uh, check, check this out. How's that, uh, how's that food for you? It's delicious. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but you know, okay, you guys, I feel you're judging me right now. Sam really likes pizza rolls. Mm -hmm. Like they're one of our favorite things and we're getting ready to go out. So we decided that we would eat at the restaurant slash bar lounge club whatever 
Um, so that was the plan, but it's six o'clock, which means we wouldn't be eating until nine or 9.30. It's a mm -hmm. long wait. So I just decided to bust out the fine china, dust off those culinary arts skills and feed my bestie. This was serious. You know? <laughs> I'm just so tired, I can't even laugh. Wow. <laughs> I've laughed so hard today. <laughs> this is my murder gun. <laughs> like I just can't, I can't. It's not taking all your laughs. It really has. Like I laugh and my abs feel tender. Yeah, my murder gun. <laughs> right? Like I feel like I need a sports bra if I'm gonna keep laughing. <laughs> Hey, hey, you guys, it is, <gasps> what time is it? <gasps> I don't even know. <gasps> what time is it? <gasps> oh my goodness. It's 8.30, it's 8.30. Um, we are actually waiting for Uber and trying not to eat all my hair. Um, we're waiting for Uber to go to the shops at Legacy. We're gonna go to Sambuca 360. Uh, super excited, but I wanted to show you guys my makeup. I did a really, really dark, 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 purpley, brown, smoky eye using the Naked Heat palette. Obviously my signature Rudolph nose and then let me show you guys my outfit. This is that dress that I showed you guys in the haul So you can see like the lines kind of working your favor. See what I'm saying? See what's happening here? Oh, and then the same shoes that I literally wear for everything um, But yeah, I don't know. I feel like it looks almost like a um, uh, A bandage dress, but it's not it's literally not a bandage dress. It's super comfortable, too um I wish it did a little more favors over here, but you know, you take what you can get. So I'm really excited. Um, I feel like I've been looking forward to this part of Sam's trip for a long time because the last time that she came and we ended up going here, it was just all sorts of epicness. I'll link that vlog in the description box below so you guys can watch, it's hysterical. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna bring this camera there because it doesn't fit in my purse, but I'll try to, um, bring you guys along either with my phone or snapchat or something but let me go downstairs and uh, show you guys sam's outfit of the day too maybe we can take a couple selfies okay biffaroni's outfit of the day um hello what is happening here what's going on like can i like put my drink on there yeah just like rest it do you see that do you yeah, see what's happening like choked all the way up. hold on actually you don't see what's happening do you see what's happening now holy moly look at that face mm. i like your hair i'm kind of jealous because it's going to be out of your way yeah and mine's gonna be like, I'm gonna have to keep doing like the, you know when you have to do this and just keep it, keep it straight? Cause it's at that length where it like curves in. Or I have to keep my neck really high. I kinda, do you still hate this dress? No, I like the dress, it looks good. It looks better on than it's Oh, you do off. like it now? Cause you yes. kinda hated it before. Well, it looks good on your body. It just, I, it looked like mine when you were holding it, you know? Okay, let's see our faces. Holy, was that close? Oh no, that's close. Oh, no, close. Okay, do you want to tell them what you did to your face? Um, not much. I used uh, one of the darker shades in the Naked uh, heat. heat Palette and then just winged eyeliner and Ardell lashes. That's it. And a an lip liner. Yeah. It was, it's a Makeup Forever one. I'll tell Danny what it's it is. It's a number. It's a number. It's always a number. It's a number. Here's mine. I don't know if you guys can see because my room was kind of dark. Yeah, yeah, I just, I love doing this dark smoky eye like this. At first though, like when you're barely doing it, it looks like a bruise. And so you I always just have to keep yeah. fighting it. Yeah, and then finally it just comes together at the very end. It does. Um, let's take a picture. Okay. deny that I'm probably still a little inebriated. I'm not a spring chicken anymore, you guys, but it was totally worth it. No regrets. No regrets. So Sam and I are at 
at Starwood, which is one of our favorite breakfast places when she comes to visit. Actually, it's one of my favorite places in general. Even when my uh, parents come to visit, they want to come here. So, I just like to believe that it's one of Sam's favorites, too, because I like it. So, uh... Sam says she's not hungover. Kind of jealous. So... I like this lighting, though. It's kind of doing it for me. I kind of removed my makeup like an hour ago. Woo! Today? Oh, today we're gonna go... Today we're gonna go to... Koreatown. Is that even what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Little Korea? Little Korea, Koreatown. Is this dangerous? It's making me a little nervous. And it's like, boom. <laughs> Do Tony Moly, Daiso. Uh, yeah. I need foot heels. Uh, foot heels? Yeah, like the Tony Moly shiny foot. It's like baby feet. It's so good. I love it. It should be fun. Anyway, we're gonna eat now. I love you. <laughs> Best crepe of mine. And then we got a Denver omelet. It has tomatoes. The thing didn't say it had tomatoes, or is it a red bell pepper? It's red bell pepper. Oh, okay, yum. Me and Sam got the same thing. Mm. But Sam is so hungry. Uh huh. Well, we didn't have dinner yesterday, you guys. So this right now feels like Thanksgiving. It does. You guys, it is 5:30. Um, it has been the most, I think that's the, my bra on my bed actually, um, just, you know, keeping it classy, keeping things on edge over here. Um, it has been one of the hardest days for me in a long time because the sole intention of last night was to go out, and if you watch this with small kids, cover their ears. The whole point of yesterday was to go out and get shit-faced. We scheduled an Uber, we were doing it responsibly. I feel like the way I was raised, like we were so, um, like we were, ra I, I feel like my parents never, like, my parents were awesome. And so they raised us, you know, properly with curfews and we were never bad kids and we never went off and like went off the rails and like partied and were crazy and stuff like that. So now that like I'm at this age and I'm like going out, I'm like, oh, I want to do something crazy, like get bad shit wasted. I totally think about it, um, but you know, you're still responsible because I'm a grown up. Anyway, so that was the plan of last night, just going out girl time, having fun, relaxing. Um, my best friend uh, Sam's here. My friend Allison just had a baby. So we just wanted to kind of unwind. It was so much fun. Um, but I drank too much and I should know better. And you know, with I was telling you guys with my anemia and just stress and work and the weather and dehydration and all of that and just being not being 21 anymore man, it catches up with you. So today has been a little miserable. Um, we went to breakfast and then we went to Daiso and Tony Moly and that was cool. But like the entire time, I literally thought I was going to pass out or vomit. And I just, oh, I just told Sam, can we go home? So we came home, we laid um, in the guest room and we were just talking and then I fell asleep. She was like, you're like a silent sleeper. I was talking and then I realized you were asleep. <laughs> so right now it's 5.30. Um, I just jumped in the shower and then Sam braided my hair. Look how cute it looks. I don't know if I can show you guys. Um, can you see? Am I even like on the angle? Look at that. She braided my little tiny baby hairs. Um, so she braided my hair. I took a shower, she braided my hair. And now we're going to go eat. We're going to go to Old Ten Sephora. And then we're going to come home. And then relax a little bit. I don't know. I kind of want to do something, but something cool, relax, you know, fun, friendly, low key something. Definitely no drinking. Um, and then this is my outfit of the day, in case you were wondering. You know, keeping it super sexy, because that's how I roll. My overalls from, um, where are these overalls from? ASOS? I think these are ASOS overalls. And then look at my shirt. Just game on, sucker. It's a football. Because, you know, I'm so athletic and I like watch football. Even though I can't even name a single football team right now for you guys. But what else? And then my shoes. I feel like I need to have these shoes in every color. I love these shoes. These are the Converse Shoreline. They're the slip-on kind. 
so you don't have to actually do the laces. If you guys have thin feet like I do, uh, the elastic in the back is so super helpful. Guess where we just got to? One of the motherlands. I secretly kind of want to go in that direction, maybe go to Target, because it's Target. But I don't need anything from Target. We're gonna go to Ulta. You know why? Because today is our last day to use to use what, Samantha Riley? 20% off coupon, including everything but Chanel. I know. I'm still a little I'm still a little salty about that. Yeah. Fancy candle. Oh, yeah, a candle. Yeah. <laughs> That's romantic, officially. Oh, romantic life. Um, last night we went to Sam 360 and got a little. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. And, um, you know, six shots, two drinks, and a lot of sleep later. This is what this is. This is what's going on. This is the result. Yeah, this is the result. Hey, hey, you guys. So it is um, six. We left Ulta, and we realized we were super hungry, mm. probably because there's some hangover action occurring that you know can't discuss any details about that. But um, I told Sam, hey, I'm kind of hungry. You want to go eat sushi? She said yes. And this is a new uh, restaurant in Frisco, so we're checking it out together. So if it's awful, then uh, it's totally my fault. But it's really cute. It's called. Miyabi, Japanese bistro. Let's see what we got going on here. I love when they do like little attention to detail like this stuff, you know? Yeah, it's really cute. A little romantic candle, the soy sauce dispenser. Um, and then we're actually sitting in an elevated booth, which is kind of cute. They're like little, little um, stations. I don't know if you guys can tell over there. See? They're like little, little individual booth stations. So uh, we're gonna order some food and then we'll share it with you guys. Okay, you guys, so we just got home after dinner in Ulta, and uh, Sam is helping me set up my Amazon Fire Stick again, because apparently Sam needs to move in with me and tell me how to live my life, so I'm lost without her. And, uh, I'm trying to convince Sam to do something with me. <laughs> I, wa I want her to... <laughs> I wanted to use this with me. <laughs> I'd rather shave my face with like hot razor blade. <laughs> what was that? Huh? What was that? I said I'd rather shave my face with a hot razor blade. Than do okay, so I really like watching court TV, like People's Court, American Justice, um, like Judge Judy type shows. I find them highly entertaining, and there is an entire channel dedicated to just court. TV shows. My favorite judge is Judge Hatchet. And every time I watch that channel, Ernesta, seriously, every time I watch that channel, there's all these like AARP commercials and can we talk about the spruce for a second? What's going on here? <laughs> Every time there's like AARP commercials, there are ASPCA commercials. I'll get it in a second. Chill. Come here. Come, Ernesta. Come. 
They want to see you. Come over here. There you Oh, yeah, there you are. Anyway, so there's always um, those commercials. But the later in the night that you get on this channel, the more interesting the commercials get. So I saw this. And uh, I really wanted to buy it. Like, I was very, very, very close to ordering it. But it was, like, 11 o'clock at night. So I was like, okay, I'm having a moment of weakness. But it is only $20. Long story short, the next morning, I get a PR email from a company that's like, hey, Danny, would you be interested in, like, a summer skin, ready summer skin, glowy, soft skin, whatever, something like that, um, and try the Finishing Touch Flawless Facial Hair Remover? I was like, yes, I would. Thank you very much. So me and Sam, yeah, I said it, me and Samantha, are going to do a first impression on it. It's not really going to be a first impression. It's basically probably just going to be a little scary and traumatizing. But uh, it's really cute. It's like white and rose gold, and it's 18 karat gold plated. Perfect for facial hair. Gentle on all skin types. Built-in light. It lets you see even the finest hairs. Listen, there's nothing fine about this Mexican mustache that I'm rocking, okay? This is like Pancho Villa status. So um, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And it says hair will not grow back. Thicker, guaranteed. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right, guys, so while Sam's doing my TV thing, we're gonna try this together. Sam's mad at me, she doesn't want, she doesn't want to do it anymore. I'll try it, I'm gonna rinse my hair off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it to you. <laughs> gonna get your murder gun? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll totally do it. Should we read the instructions or should we just like go for it? The instructions are full of wussies. <laughs> is, is that the, the hattery? Yeah. Kind of batteries rose gold. The batteries rose gold has a little brush so you can like brush off your mustache hair. Or you can brush off the, uh, yeah, yeah, brush off the tool. Yeah. Oh, look. See, this is Beauty and the Beast. Oh, man. All right. This does not feel, you know. It doesn't look very sturdy. Super fancy. Yeah. It doesn't look like a lot. Oh, shh. <laughs> you guys hear that? That oh sounds my like a torture device. Oh, can you guys see that? Wow. Did you see Beauty and I'm scared. I don't want to see my face anymore. Beauty and uh, Hello, ADD. We're concentrating here. That's too loud. Why did I do it to you? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All of the like pent up aggression. Give me a mom times I interrupt you. Yeah. Wait, I should read the instructions because maybe you have to like do it in one direction. Like, yeah, or maybe you or don't one. spin it or something. Yeah. Yeah. How to use. Um, press the head of the unit flat against your skin. That's perverted. <laughs> that was Jesus. The unit should not be on an angle. Proceed making small circular motions. Why is he calling it the unit? The unit. It's very perverted. I'm really scared. Where do you have the most hair? Here? Uh, I'd go right for the right for the bunny. Like here? Because then when you give and up. And they're kind of long too. You're not going to want to do it again. <laughs> Mine's like, Mine! Mine's, Mine's our cover. Her. I know. No! No, <laughs> no Mern! She's like, no! She's like, I'll do it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna hurt! It is gonna hurt. <laughs> uh, we'll do it together. Uh. <laughs> I should have gotten two. I should have asked for another one so mm -hmm. at the same time. No, I know what that's gonna feel like. <laughs> I had an epilator before. Is it bad? It's ripping your hair out, bro. <laughs> and you're doing it to your lip. Do <laughs> you think it's gonna tickle? <laughs> it's not gonna tickle. Oh my god. You can't feel it. Is it working? There's no more mustache. Ooh. Yeah. It does, you can't feel it. For real? You can't feel it.
All right, my hairy lady friends. You can't feel it. Oh, like I probably do. a thug. I should have done like a before and after. Are you sure it's not shaving it? It's epilating it for, for sure? I don't know, read the packaging. It doesn't look shaved. Yeah, it doesn't look shaved. It says remove hair. <laughs> you think it's like a... If it was an epilator, it would have the little hairs inside it. Hair will not grow back thicker, guaranteed. Okay, I get that. It's a razor then. Right? No? How could it not hurt if it's pulling the hair off? If you think about it rationally. Mm-hmm. Like common sense. Oh, yeah, it's a little mini razor. You just shaved your face. <laughs> I mean, it's what I would do before anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have those little hand razors. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll like raise, for the I'll eyebrows. Raise, yeah, yeah, I razor my hand right there. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it did a good job. Kind of relieved it didn't hurt. Yeah. It does feel like I shaved though. Do you guys ever shave your mustache? Like I don't have the shadow anymore, but if I don't put something on it, it's gonna get like ingrowns. No, um, like this one. It gets like um, uh, what's the word? Like it burns a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. Anyway, that's cool. I mean, it's cute, but it's just I think it's basically like just a cute little razor, like a cute little electric razor. That's mm -hmm. all it is. Cover your face. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it's just a cute little. Electric razor, that's all it is. Usually, like, what I do to remove my Pancho Villa status is those little things that Sam yeah. said, the little eyebrow razors. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do it, like, maybe every, like, twice a month or something, but. Yeah. Yeah. Because those fuzzies, like, your hair, your makeup sticks to the fuzzies. Yeah. It's really annoying. Mm -hmm. Or then when you um, uh, spray finishing spray, if you're done with your makeup, mm -hmm. the hair stands up on end, and you have to, like, pat it down. Oh, really? Or else it's like, oh! <laughs> yeah. It totally does. Then you have to take the beauty blender and like stamp it down, stamp out the, down the fuzz. Oh. Well, that's cool if it's just like a little personal razor. Okay, you guys see this Rudolph situation and the tears? So, whenever Sam comes to visit, not all the time, but most of the time, she suggests that we see a movie together. <laughs> She always gets to pick the movie, and this always happens with the movies that her ass picks. She's just, she's horrible, horrible. She made me watch The Choice, it's a Nicholas Sparks movie, so you know, it's like one of those movies that like, fuck those movies. Anyway, it just, oh man, it was awful. It was so good, it was awful, and she thinks it's hilarious. She thinks it's hysterical that she puts me through this hell. Is that a good friend or what? You guys, I just, I can't. Mm. Anyway, so, seriously, look at my nose, it's like inflamed. And then a bug bit me on the face. <laughs> Must have been the same one that got my ankles. Oh <laughs> man, it's horrible. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock Saturday. Uh, tomorrow's Sunday and then Sam leaves tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> kind of sad, but anyway. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, but you guys will come along for it. And uh, I really sound like I'm like super bummed out. I guess I am. I don't like those like romantic movies with uh -huh. the current state of my life. It's like, <laughs> oh no. <"Ugh." laughs> no one will build me a gazebo. Come bother me. <laughs> I need someone to bother me. <laughs> Yeah, Let man. me get my murder gun, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Happy Sunday, you guys. It's 11 o'clock. Um, Sam and I, please forgive me if I have lipstick on my teeth this entire vlog. Um, Sam and I got up like at 7, I would say. Well, she probably got up like at 4. But um, I didn't see Sam until like 7.30. And we filmed this Get Ready With Me uh, for you guys. Um, she tried some new products. I did my best <laughs> um, and right now we are actually heading out to eat and then I have to go to a friend's house um, 
he's out of town and I have to help him do something at his house. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Wish you a happy Sunday. We'll bring you along, obviously, for the ride. Um, I don't know what we're eating yet, but um, in case you guys are wondering, I'm wearing... I'll have to list it in the description box below. It's one of the new ones from Urban Decay. It's a limited edition shade on my lips. Uh, Bella Bomba on the cheeks. And then an Urban Decay green eyeliner. And then one of the Maybelline. Those new Maybelline eyeshadow, uh, I think they're Kints. I think there's five shadows in there or six shadows. Um, they've been getting really good reviews. I didn't have the best luck with them. So um, this video will be up. The Get Ready With Me will be up on Sam's channel. So if it's available, I'll link it in the description box below. And then, don't mind the mess in my room. Uh, this is my outfit of the day. I got this dress at Target. It's an off the shoulder sort of long maxi. Um, very long. I'm surprised how long it is. If I'm not wearing wedges, my uh, dress drags, which for me never happens. You know, you guys know I'm like a thousand feet tall. And so nothing that is supposed to be floor length is ever floor length on me. Pants, skirts, nothing. So, yeah, it was like 25 bucks at Target. It's super cute. It's in, uh, the brand is Exhilaration, the Junior's brand. And I'm a medium in that brand. Um, and then it has this really cute slit. You see, it has a slit down the middle. But it's not like super high up. It's, you know, it's cute. And then it has all these little buttons. See the buttons? They're not functional, though. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's what we're working with. Oh, and then my shoes. These wedges are Franco... What are they? Franco Sarto? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Franco Sarto from DSW. And every time I go, I still see them. So, pretty cute. They make me look like I'm 400 feet tall, but... You know what, guys? I have been tall my entire life. Like, I got picked on because I was tall. I've always been tall. Clothes has always been hard to fit on me because I'm so tall and thin. It's just always been a constant in my life, being tall. And um, I'm gonna wear whatever shoes I think are cute and comfortable and match my outfit and I like. And if the guy that likes me doesn't, you know, feels uncomfortable because my shoes are too tall, then he's not the guy for me. Or if someone thinks I shouldn't wear heels because I'm already tall, then I don't need that negativity in my life. You know what I mean? Like it's such a conversation in my life. Wow, you're so tall. I have been in, occasions or situations where I'm about to go on a first date with someone and they ask me not to wear heels because it's our first date. Can you not wear not wear heels for our first date? But wouldn't that just mean that down the road you're probably gonna be like, can you not wear those pants? Can you not wear, you know what I mean? Like that's just a fact. I'm gonna wear heels, I wanna wear heels. I don't know how this turned into a rant and I really hate that Blake Shelton song. So I'm gonna go change that and then I'm gonna go eat and you guys are coming along. Hey, hey guys, we just got to Chili's um, and my hair is looking weird. It's been raining. So you guys see that like texture in my hair? That's what happens. She just learned to live with it. And then texturizing spray just makes it worse, but it's okay. It's part of product research. Yeah, product research. I wasn't sure how much training you wanted to put in your hair. That's fine. That's enough for an appetizer. And um, just let me know when y'all are ready. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> What's that, Samantha? I think we're that right there? Yep. Okay. Delicious. That's what it is. Dr. Pepper with cherries. You know, the funny thing is that that's like always been her signature drink and I've always made fun of her for it, but I've never actually tried it. So it's kind of, it's going to be one of those things where I feel like maybe I'm overstepping my place in life. Like it might be really good and I'm being a dick about it. Do you know why I put the cherries in the drink? So you have something to eat because you need to be eating? Okay. So. Is that really it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You get a couple cherries, then you're not starving anymore. Okay, so eat those cancer cherries. Uh, you know, I would like for you to live. Cancer cherries? Yeah, they're loaded with carcinogens. Did you know that? Did I ruin cherries for you? <gasps> this bitch thinks you can ruin a cherry for a girl. Oh. But I got news for you. Everything about my body is <laughs> carcinogen. <laughs> this glitter on my eyelids. This glitter is gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Social sensitivity. <gasps> okay, what should I get you guys? I really like the stuff, any stuff that they have with their mango salsa on top of it. 
Yeah, they have really good mango. <gasps> the ribs are actually pretty good too. I, I feel not, like I'm talking loud. Am I talking loud? But if you don't think you're in a burger outfit, you're really not in a rib outfit. Oh, I live in Texas. You're always in a rib outfit. <laughs> you could be naked and that's a rib outfit. You guys, I was so hungry. I'm pretty sure I ate half of my food already. I got the margarita chicken with rice and beans. And then Sam ordered for uh, the table the spinach. White, white spinach queso. Spinach queso. And then she got some chicken salad with like these little flatbread thingies. Yes. It's like a massive meal. That's kind of nice. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> this is delicious. I hadn't had this before. I usually get the mango chili, whatever. This is good. That's like the huge yeah. at the end of these vlogs. It's uh, four o'clock. We're right outside of Love Field. I'm about to leave my biffaroni. And why is my camera moving? Yeah, I'm about to drop Sam off at the airport. It kind of sucks. It's funny because today she was like, so when's the next trip? Oh. <laughs> but I think our next trip should be a vacation. Like go somewhere. Yeah. We can do that. Because I haven't had a vacation in like eight years. That's Even if it's just a mini getaway, you know? Yeah. And then we can vlog the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So we got here at four. It's good timing, right? Yeah. I boarded 40 minutes. 35 minutes. 40, 36 40 minutes. minutes. All right. Let me, uh, I'll just get up here. Unless you want me to go all the way up there? Do you no. want to go there? No, I just go right there. Doesn't matter. You know more than nothing. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye. Bye, camera. <laughs> you don't have to unbuckle. Oh, you get free yeah, yeah, yeah. a full hug. Oops. A oh. full on. Full on hug. <laughs> Good. Fit, like right in my arm. <laughs> All right, you guys. Sam just left, and uh, it was such a um, such a great time. I feel like every time Sam's here, it doesn't feel like I have a guest. It doesn't feel like I'm, you know, parading around and having to entertain or, you know, having to show the city or tour or, you know, even shower. Having Sam around is like having family here and it's just, it feels so good. It feels good because I'm alone in Texas. Making friends is hard as a grown up. You know, I'm in that like transition phase in my life, which is so prevalent right now. Um, and she's just, she's like a little bit of home, which is so bizarre because we didn't grow up together. We've been best friends for like three years. Um, but it's just a really nice reminder of just support and unconditional love. And I don't know, I don't think I've ever been in a situation like in a, in a friendship or even with family where I can say like, you're being annoying or like you're being negative or, they, or you know, openly saying how much you care about someone or how glad you are to see them. Just that like super, almost like emotional, raw nakedness. And we have that. It's like, whoa, like, dude, you're being annoying. Like, stop. Or, oh, really? You think so? Like, she's always really good at almost like making me snap out of like my self-deprecating moments where I'm like, wah, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm whatever. I'm like having an insecure moment and she'll, um, she just, she's just awesome. So I really, uh, I hope we can plan our next visit together soon. Um, a lot of you guys ask why I don't go out to see Sam. Like, when are you gonna go to New York? And the thing is, it has nothing to do with not wanting to go to New York or I want her to come here. It's more so, I have four dogs. And so for Sam to come, for Sam to come here, her husband can stay back and take care of their cats. If I go to New York, I have to board four dogs. And boarding four dogs just for a weekend, not even like Thursday through Sunday night or whatever, just for a weekend, like a, let's say Friday afternoon through Sunday morning, it's at least $500. So it turns into the plane ticket, all the expenses, plus the boarding, it, it, it gets to be a lot. 
you know, and it's not necessarily about money. I am actually dying to meet her cats and I'm always, I've always had that like insane curiosity to meet her husband because, you know, she's, they're like soulmates and uh, she speaks so highly of him and he's so supportive and, you know, I FaceTimed with them before and he's just really funny. So, you know, I, I definitely feel like I'm missing out on that part of her life. And so I'd like to explore it and to meet, you know, to see her home and to see, you know, meet her husband and go to her mall and stuff like that. So I'll have to figure out a way to make that happen one of these days. But in the meantime, it just, it just makes more sense for her to come here. But it's not because, you know, I'm trying to be a DB or a diva or anything. But I'm on my way to a friend of mine, uh, a friend, a friend of mine's house. Um, we're gonna go eat chicken wings because that's like our thing. We eat wings together. Um, play with this dog, and then um, I actually at some point have to go back to my friend's house, my other friend's house, and lock up his house. He's on vacation, so I'm you know helping him around his house. Um, you guys probably must think it's so weird that like most of my friends are dudes, right? And all of these guys that I've met have actually been like through dating sites like Bumble and Match. It just ends up being that I've always, it's always been so much easier for me to be friends with guys because they're just so simple. Like they're so easy. They say what they mean, they mean what they say, you know? But um, yeah, it's just so much easier. Anyway, so I'm gonna go over to my friend's house, we're gonna eat wings, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna trick him into going with me to my other friend's house to lock up his house. That's how you know it's what it is. Um, anyway, so that's it. Four o'clock, Sunday. So if you guys don't see me later, I love you, but maybe you will. I'll probably have like a little good night monologue outro of what I learned this weekend. You guys know I have like my teacher, what I learned, what the objective of this weekend was at the end of my vlogs. So we still have some time to come up with what it was. Anyway, so that's it. So I thought I would be melodramatic and come home and film in my empty guest room since Sam just left. <sighs> well, not just left, but you know what I mean? So I look forward to every time Sam leaves and that sounds really rude, but that's not what I mean. Every time we um, are headed to the airport, we have a really great conversation for some reason. It just works out that way. And uh, Sam is one of the most, <sighs> I've never met someone like her that is so non-judgmental, super open-minded, very understanding, very compassionate and empathetic. And she always tries to really fully understand where, you know, everyone's coming from without rushing to judgment. And so um, we always have really good conversations and she points out things that maybe I haven't noticed or picked up on. Um, and it's just, it's just something that I've always looked forward to. And um, something that my mom has always told me is that I get disappointed by people because I expect others to think like I think. So I'm one of those people that goes far beyond, far beyond my means and just, just far beyond what I need to, to make other people happy. And while I don't expect that from others, when they don't do something for me or they don't show up for me or they aren't available, like emotionally available to me, I get sad or disappointed. And then, uh, so my mom's like, well, you get disappointed because you expect other people to be like you or to think like you or to feel like you. And there are very few people that are like you. So until you accept that, you're not gonna, you know, you're not going to not be disappointed as much. And so my conversation with Sam was around the fact that while it's easy for me to tell someone, I miss you, I need you, I wanna see you, how, you know, just, I'm available emotionally to communicate. Some people do it in different ways, you know, or some people say it in different ways or some people express it in different ways. I just have to be able to see it or pick it up. And so my problem is that when someone gives me that like peak of emotional availability, like, are you gonna get all crazy with your bone? Hey, leave your leg alone. You already have a boo-boo. Leave your boo-boo alone. See who I'm talking to? Um, so some people 
express themselves in a more demure or coy way and I'll automatically like negate it and so Sam it was almost like Sam was calling me out she was like well you can't just discount people's feelings like that and I was like what do you mean it, it, it made me like really aware you know like really self-aware I was like what do you mean like are you just saying like are you saying it as negative as I think it is she's like yeah you can't just because you say I miss you to someone and someone else doesn't say it that way they say something like I don't know something a little bit more random like when are we gonna eat whatever in my mind I'm just like oh well they just probably said that because they were bored and wanted to hang out with me or whatever you know what I mean like I just I do this whole like super almost it's nothing it's not even a big deal like I, I just and that's just my own insecurity and she's like, you do that all the time. You just, you just invalidate people's feelings. And I was like, I felt a little assaulted, you guys. And so she gave me this whole like long talk about how the same thing my mom says. You can't expect others to be like you. You can't expect others to feel like you. You can't expect others to communicate like you or to show up like you do. But that doesn't mean they're not doing it. So... Every time Sam leaves, she kind of points out things to me that really just help me grow mentally and spiritually as a person, and they kind of stay with me. And so I can always appreciate someone that is so invested in your life that they want you to have personal growth, and they do it at the risk of perhaps upsetting you or coming off the wrong way. Like, they run that risk because they want to help. And uh, it's just something that I've been thinking about all afternoon. You know, like, she's right. My own insecurity makes me invalidate other people's feelings. You know? Um, and that's not nice. I would hate for someone to do that to me, you know? I mean, it wouldn't happen because I'm, like, overly emotionally and open. <laughs> To a fault, probably. See, I am I just discounted my own feelings. Um, anyway, so that was our weekend. I mean, this is such a great weekend. It's always nice to see Sam. It's always nice to have family around, you know, and, and uh, the dogs love seeing Sam. So now it's back to reality and to wash off this amazing green eyeliner. Um, I hope you guys had a great time and uh, look forward to more vlogs coming soon. I'm actually looking forward to working with HelloFresh again. Um, the video that we did with HelloFresh a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, did so well that they want me to keep, you know, showing off my culinary like skills on my vlogs, which I'm looking forward to just because the food was so good. You know what I mean? It was so much fun to film. The food was delicious, and I know you guys really liked it. So look forward to that. But in the meantime, I really hope you guys are looking forward to these vlogs. I really hope you're enjoying them. Um, it's it's really fun for me to do them. You know, it's super fun. It's kind of creating a little bit of like a digital diary for me. Um, and I feel like I'm also learning a lot about myself that I wouldn't otherwise because I'm not watching myself, you know, in real life. Uh, last vlog, I mentioned that it's very difficult for me to ask for help. And the comments in regards to that that you guys left me were so valuable to me, you know. A lot of you guys said, you know how good you feel when you help someone? You're robbing that opportunity from people that care about you. And I was like, holy crap, that's right. That's exactly what I'm doing. These people might really enjoy helping me. Like that might make them happy and I'm removing that opportunity from them. So I feel like uh, you guys are... You guys are being my Sam in these vlogs and you're helping me grow as a person and, and develop and become more insightful. And I really appreciate it. So I think that's it for this vlog, you guys. I will leave a playlist in the description box below with all my other mommy parole vlogs. And I will try and link the crap out of this video like I do in all my other vlogs. And I think that's it. You know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.